Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Alrighty. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Oh, hold on, I need to go this way. I'm gonna go back. He ain't, uh, he ain't already moving yet. All right, so one of the areas for us will be in. So uh, he's not in there. So no, no zombies in there. go in here uh, make sure I stock up on some knives or daggers uh, just in case uh, I deal with uh, jo uh, Joseph Forrest Joseph's already dead
So there is a uh, forest in there. Alright, here's Forrest. Gotta figure out which way he's coming. Don't want to accidentally run into him. Cut through here. I'm going to use our imitation key. He's gone again.
Hey, thanks, Codecast. Man, I'm just tired today. Probably also because I'm full of cereal. <sighs> okay, not in here again. Where's he at? Oh, I wonder if he like came to the door. Oh, I wonder if that was forced. Oh no. Uh, okay, I need to get the broken shotgun. That'll be my next thing to get. Oh, nice man. Oh, that scared me to death. Hold on, I want to kill this zombie here. He's upstairs. You enjoying you and you know having fun with the game, enjoying the game. I know it's old furniture, but I want the shotgun. <laughs> See, I think this is still ink ribbon. Yeah, okay. I don't need it anyway. Alrighty, um, guess I will make my back towards the east. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, I love this game. This game is so good. This is this is this is what oh crap I can't do this shoot um, I wish Resident Evil went back to this like this style with the cameras and and whatnot I 
I know like Resident Evil 7 brought back the the inventory boxes and stuff, but I don't know. Oh shoot, I should have used that stupid key. That's what I meant to do while I was before I hit the dining room. I would have gotten uh yeah, I would have gotten rid of both of them. Okay, hold on. That's what I want to do. Hold on. Uh, God, I hope he's not in here now. No, wait, shoot. I don't need to go through there yet. I need to take the long way. Oh, man. I, I wonder who decided, like, let's make this door broken. This door handle broken. Like, they knew... They knew they were like, uh, this is too much of a shortcut. So to keep my door handle, cause you only get it, you only use it like twice. So I have to do, I gotta do this whole long run here. Actually, I don't, well, hold on. My mind is just out of, it's just got, it's just all, all over the place right now. Let me get rid of these keys. While I'm out this way. There's another old key down here, which I'll get it. Okay, there's a space there. Okay. That scene. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. Oh, okay. Yeah, the dog collar one can be, uh, can be kind of tricky because you'll get, you'll end up having to face two dogs sometimes. Uh, well, if you don't have nothing powerful enough to kill them quickly. But yeah, you'll need to get like, at least like the shotgun. Because if, if you just got the handgun like the other dog, it'll start going after you. Or, or you won't put enough in them to like kind of stun them and they'll, and they'll just come right after you. I've been struggling with managing what items you need to have at one at one time, yeah. And so like Chris here, you know, he's got see Chris has two less inventory spots compared to Jill, so he only gets six. And then see, uh Jill has the lock pick and and Chris doesn't, so Chris has to find these old keys to unlock simple locks. So that takes up a, a whole space of its own just to unlock certain doors. Um and luckily, it's only mainly in this beginning part. There's only like five small keys. Um, in the original, I recall like you had to use it. You had, there was like tons of small keys you had to use. And they'd be like these small drawers. You'd find like a small drawer and that'd be like, it wouldn't even be like a key item. It'd just be like an item. Like it could be health. It could be ammo, an ink ribbon. Uh, but Chris has a lighter and the lighter's only used like two times. Outside of like needing to burn the enemy. You know, your, your zombie, uh, you know, you use it at the fireplace, you, you light the candles, and that's it. Uh, so, you know, I mean, but yeah, that's, that's also, but, you know, and then Chris starts off with the knife. Um, so, 
but Chris does have you know he he's got more health compared to Jill. He can take you know a few a few more bites, uh, and damage. You know, like here, Chris has to get the broken shotgun and to uh, to replace the regular shotgun. Uh, cause nobody nobody comes and helps him. And then uh, need to go need to go on out here and. Uh, I'll pick up an herb. I didn't need to pick up that. I'm trying to get, get this chemical to use on plants. Then uh, later on, we'll run into Rebecca, and Rebecca's able to heal Chris. I, I only I think like a couple of times or so, but you know you can get some free health off of her. Oh crap! I wasn't supposed to go through that door yet. Gosh, man. Because I want to say that stupid doorknob. Let me... I'm talking too much now. Oh. Let me get this first aid spray. Just in case I... I doubt I'll need it, but... So I'll go in here and get the mask. Why I did that? It's stupid. I wish they, I wish I could have been like, you know, fix the doorknob first. Give me, give me stuff later. But instead, they gave me stuff now. Wish I'll get more stuff later. But they fixed the doorknob later on the second run with the mansion. Let me do this again so I can get that stupid art gallery. Yeah, with with these old Resident Evil games, like they each each game had like their own like you know, uh Okay, nobody's in here. Yeah, there we go. There's the last armor key. Um, you know, Resident Evil 1, you get Chris and Jill. 2, you get Claire and Chris. Or not Chris. Uh, Claire and Leon. And then in 3, you know, you just you may, you may just play as Jill. And you'll play as Carlos once. But uh, it's more about what decisions you make will affect, uh, will affect what ending you get. Um... So it don't have as, as much of a, you know, difference. It's mainly like the same game. You'll just get, depending on what, what ending you do, will be different. And then in Code Veronica, they sort of, uh, which they don't have any, any differences in endings, but you do have Claire, then you play as Chris in it. You play as Claire uh, in the first half, Chris as the second half. There we go. Now I will continue on going back to the west side. I need to go... Actually, I can go either way. Oh my... I can go uh, this way. I can go this way because that door is unlocked now. I was kind of going to go towards the save room first, but I'll just bypass it. I won't worry about it yet.
Um, no, you could probably go ahead and jump in Code Veronica. Code Veronica um, takes place after, you know, the second and third game. Uh, and then before the fourth game, uh, Code Veronica is, um, how would I put it? Basically, like, um, after, after RE1, Chris goes and kind of does his own thing. Then he finds out about El Umbrella's headquarters being located in Europe. Um, and, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Is that right? Or, or Claire? Claire finds that. Oh, Chris is doing his own thing. Claire's doing after two. Claire does her own thing. Then Claire goes to Europe. She ends up getting caught, and then they bring her to this prison in. Uh, no, it is in Europe. And then later on. And then Chris hears about it, so he's going to try to track down, and find Claire and rescue her. But then when he gets up there, he finds out. Oh, Claire's in Antarctica and all this stuff. Uh but other than like early in the game she sends like some email to Leon I think and then that's that's really it that has any connection to the earlier games uh, other than you know Claire and Chris you know them uh, other than that it, it's kind of its own it's its own thing you don't have to know anything about there's nothing to know in these games other than I guess kind of the, the main gist of it uh, you know um uh, so, um, that'd be it though, if you wanted to jump in Code Veronica next, I mean you could, um, but, uh, I, I will say Code Veronica is hard though, it, it's got a very hard, hard, uh, beginning, um, uh, but it's good though, it's, it's also really good. I'm done out. I'm done on this side. I need to go ahead and start doing the piano stuff. Um, and then going to Richard. Oh, oh god, he's he's crimson hit already? Man, that was quick. Actually, up. Up. Hold on. Up, up. There we go. There's two, three. We got us some more health and uh Yeah. Let me go ahead and get rid of this crimson head. Okay. Oh here comes Forrest. I want to go to Well, it's whatever. Go past him. And ironically enough, <laughs> Codecast, we, we are in Chris's Code Veronica costume right now. <laughs> I just now thought of that. You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris, this place... Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He 
seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Oh, wait a minute, is he still up here? Crap, I'm gonna have to go uh, downstairs. I should have known that from yesterday. I hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? All right, let's see if I can dodge him again as I go up there and get that music sheet. more health just in case but uh hopefully I'll be okay hopefully he'll miss go in there Chris go in there All right. can he not they're not pushing enough <gasps> no 
<laughs> push him off. Push him off me, Chris. There we go. I'm in caution. I'm okay. Whew. I was trying to... I don't think I can use a defensive item. I thought I could. I was, I was wailing on the button. Thinking, oh, I need to just use the daggers. Uh, I may be wrong, though. I... Let me get one of those uh, herbs here. Oh yeah, I got hit for ammo. Yeah. Um. Uh, oh, oh, we can combine that. Do that. All right. Then we gotta go back, and we will do the next cutscene. The uh, useless cutscene, well, the useless option, which makes no sense to me. I'll go ahead and kill him. Chris. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? What was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. We just gotta wait for her to uh, play the song right. Just kind of running around here, just waiting. I need to look up like and see if there's like any sort of trigger. Like it depends on how many rooms I go through, or it's just literally like you gotta let so many minutes go by. See, after this I get no. No, I don't get a mask here, that's right. I get the key then I go, okay. Uh let's see. Dun, 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 get the key. And uh okay. I guess I can go ahead and trigger this scene too here. I can skip it later. Go see if she's done yet.
Okay, yeah. You can still hear her play. Chris! Chris! I think I got it! Practice makes perfect. Huh? What's this? Oh, go, go, go. Forget about him. Still gonna be there. Okay, I want to see if uh, I got to see if I can uh, dodge him again. I should be able to. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I thought I was supposed to go here. Get off me already. Man, I don't know. This game, I swear. Ugh. I need to go out this way. Then I can go back out that way. I'm always jumping ahead. 
of what I'm supposed to do. Alright man, thanks for stopping by man. Hope you have a good day at work. Alright now I can get out of here. Still made it. I was gonna say I don't miss my opportunity. Stupid dog. Alright. Nothing else I need here.
That's weird that he's on the move. He's never on the move.
Alrighty. Gonna make our way into the aqua ring. I'm gonna probably run into the plant 42 Richard. room as well. Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard. Yeah, what's going on, the real? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'll wait till I empty out the water. Drain the water, and then I'll go uh, come back up here. Oh, two this time. Emergency! Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Real good here, yeah. find that I want to see if I can get Rebecca I, which I still need to google about that um, maybe my theory is right if I if I if I go in this room then they'll then uh, I'll have to play as Rebecca to come in here He'd say something here. But...
Okay, well, I don't have to deal with him anyway. Alright, let's see if we can unlock this door here. Okay, we're gonna try... my phone okay alrighty so I'm hoping I will be able to play as Rebecca here I, I've gone in the room and then I'll pick up the file and I'm assuming she'll come in to uh, try to help Chris See if this works. If not, I'm gonna have to Google it because I have no idea. I didn't do no all right so Majin Majin what's going on yeah I'll still be here man I'll be here uh for the next probably another four or five hours oh. I don't know how I'm supposed to play as Rebecca I will have to figure Google that and figure that out. I know you can play as her. I thought, you know, maybe if I find the room, you know, where the roots are, um, Chris will know, you know, where to where to tell her director to go and. Stair skate up here. Man, I hate that. It's it's so I remember it not being that difficult to play as her, like I don't know. I'm so I'm so lost on that. Chris doesn't know anything about medicine. Rebecca does. Oh, you scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But 
Richard. He's... gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Man, I'm annoyed by that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Well, I guess I'll go get my... my crank and stuff. I'll be on my way. Actually, nope, I don't need the crank. I'm going back to the mansion. This is Brad. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot about that one. Hold on, I can still skip these other two here. I'm sitting on fine still. They don't make no mention of these paintings. You don't even see that one on the right. You know, they don't have no uh, no comment about it.
Oh, now he's walking. I still, need, I still need to uh, check out what these frag, uh, not frag, flashbangs do. Oh my gosh, now oh, behind you Chris. Oh, <laughs> he got lost. Not bad. Stick those up there because I'll need them. Shoot, actually, I will need both of these because I'm going to save Jill. I forget. All right, hold on. I can I can fix that. Actually. this. Wait a minute, right here. Right here.
way first. <laughs> Rebecca, is she upstairs? And I've been doing all right, man. I've just been uh, playing through this here. fighting me. No. That was it. You're at a loss for words, man. Man, Ari, the original Chris was so much more emotional. Man, that's really lacking. This is probably the best remake you've ever seen. I agree. You know, uh, you know, when I think of a remake, I think this is like shoot, hold on. Get back in the I think this, this is pretty much perfection, just about, you know, when it comes to remaking a game. Your in-laws been attacked. That's fine. I figured it was probably work or something. I saw in, like, the Discord, somebody was like, yo, Majin, where you been at? You know, and I was like, I guess he's been busy. I mean, I didn't say nothing, but I mean, I just... You know. I didn't even mean to go in here. I meant to try to aim and shoot. Here. There. Um. Actually, I need to go back in here and get my crank now. The crank at the battery. Because I'm heading back out. For a while, actually, let me go put this modus too. Let's take it up top here. Important items I need later. Is that the grenade? No, this is the uh, this is the rocket launcher you unlock uh, when you beat the game in under three hours. Uh, you got to beat the game in under three hours on either normal or hard difficulty. You get infinite ammo with it. Then you get the uh, Samurai Edge handgun as well when you beat the game in under five hours. Both with infinite ammo. I still didn't get the stupid crank. I just said I need to get the crank and the battery, and I got the battery and the crank.
Okay, crank. Yeah, I, I really like the design of this rocket launcher. Um, I don't know why it, it's never came back. I hope my next run is like mistake free. I, I like to do like at least one run that has no mistakes in it, you know, no forgetful, you know, on, I, w I took the wrong turn or I went here instead of there. Coming up on probably, probably my least favorite part of the map, or not the map, but the game. Just, I don't care for the whole sewers and caves part. Oh uh, yeah, I've unlocked the invisible uh, enemies. I haven't, haven't, well, I've checked it out just to see like what you're up against as far as like what you can and can't see of the enemy and stuff. So, yeah, you pretty much, you only see them when they, when they bite you or they attack you or something. I was thinking, I was thinking one of the enemies you could see like, like the dust from the ground uh, when they're moving, but I don't know if it's on certain ones, like maybe the Crimson Heads. Regular zombies wouldn't do it. That was close. Yeah, well, actually, we're gonna, no, we're gonna go ahead. Go this, uh, I should be fine. I'm just gonna go do this just to be safe because those stupid hunters. Do I not have any? No, I'll just go this way. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and go through. I should be able to run past them. Fine. Yeah, I made affiliate last Friday. I hit the well, I got the invitation for it Friday, and then uh, I finally like applied, basically like right uh, right before my stream on Monday, Monday morning, and so. Um, Enrico, don't. That's when I basically officially became affiliate. What happened? Thanks, man. Yeah. Double crosser. Enrico, wait. I got the. Uh, Enrico. Uh, what was that? I think yeah, it was um, playing. I was playing remake. Is when I was first playing remake, and Enrico. somebody raided me, and that really helped me. You know, I could put in Double the cross. hours and the days, but I couldn't get the consistent viewer number, and so that really helped. And so once I got like the rest of like play or stream on like the seventh day you know you get the stream like seven different days like bam i got the invitation i was like finally man that was whew, been trying to get over that hump to get that and so monday i immediately got like 20 bits and then uh and then I got like my first sub. I didn't. I didn't think that. I didn't think none of that would have happened until like, you know, weeks or months later. Ooh, I got close. That could have killed me.
Also, Majin, I, I finally made a Discord. I think he was telling me about needing to make one. I can't remember. I, I can't remember if it, if it was you or somebody else, but I ended up finally making it. I made a Discord, so I've only got like, it's me and three other people right now. So it's real small and and I've, I've just got like, you know, just one little, little group to just randomly talk in. Oh yeah. For the sub, man. <laughs> and I haven't done nothing with badges, so you're getting kind of like the default badge. All this stuff's still new to me. I'm still, still trying to get the hang of it. Okay, uh, if you're on, if you're uh, by any chance like on the disc, uh, Discord, the, the Twitch website on the actual, because I don't know if it'll bring it up on the app right, but on the website I've got it, I've got the link, like, you know, it's got the picture. Right now it's of GL, you just click on that image and it'll direct, uh, directly send it to you. But I can, I can send you a link too. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sleepy today. I need me a, I need me like a Coke or something. I'm, not, I'm well, I got those diet cokes of Megan's, but yeah. Alright, man. I'm just letting you know it's also there. Because it's going to be just a few minutes. If he's wanting to go ahead and just, you know, jump to it. Oh, okay, yeah. I was gonna say it wasn't moving me. So today, today's my last day with this game. I'm glad, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to get it done. I'll push a little bit. There we go. Playing as Chris has been good. It's been a good break from Jill because I've, I've played as Jill. Probably about 15 times all together. <laughs> Not sure what I'm going to play next. I thought about doing RE4. I'm not sure though. What am I going to move on to? I don't know. There ain't no telling. Just whatever I'm feeling like, I guess. Or if I get enough people that uh, that I guess tell me they a certain game that they want. I may try to do the Resident Evil 2 remake. Um... 
I've got the I've got the one shot demo, which is what I'm going to play when I get done with this game to to see if it works on my PC. You know, if I got good enough specs to run it, then I'd go out go to Steam and and purchase it. Yeah, cause cause RE2 remake is still is still popular right now. It's, it's the newest. Um, Yeah, I agree. I, I enjoy playing as Jill Jill Moore. Hold on, let me go ahead and put this crank up because I'm done with it. Yet. All right, man.
You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Alrighty. She's attacking. Misses. Get rid of her. I'll investigate this area a little further. Ah, uh, sure got me. Alright, it's whatever. Uh, Alright, I want to kill this. Oh, I'm okay. Uh, well, I'm in caution. Alright. Oh, you missed Lisa. <laughs> that ain't very much of a fight. You're just kind of avoiding her most for the most part. Alrighty, got all three of these.
So I'm gonna see what the flashbang does without me interfering with it. So do I? Ha I, I have to do something. Uh, see, I thought it, it does stuff on its own. I thought like. I thought it'd go off, you know, flashbang would happen. I uh, maybe you know. I haven't had to deal with it, so I don't know, I mean put in there shoot their head, you know. I know that's a trick to decapitate them, but I didn't know if this if that was the only use for it. Yeah, he can't bite me, yeah. Oh, at least Trevor, oh, okay. Yeah, I can see where she can be kind of hard to predict. I've had the awfulest time with that one, with Chris.
Yeah, I, yeah, it's like three, or is it? I think it's run two, and then walk three, and then you run two and walk three. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not about to chance it. It'd be one thing if, I, if I'd have been saving, but I haven't saved any this game. Yeah, I can go through here. So I killed that zombie. Jill. Chris, Wesker's the... I know. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just, I'm not as fast as, you know, the pros are at it. And I'm just kind of mashing. Just trying to kind of speed up things a little bit. <laughs> Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course, you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's... No. Rather, my little piggies. <gasps> the Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed Enrico with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! Enrico? Yes. I'm a fair man. I'll destroy all of you stars along with this entire place. You. Time for show and tell. Get up. Ultimate life form, Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Ooh. 
Come on, you test tube freak! Why didn't he just shoot him there? I I don't know. I guess he just wanted to see if uh I don't know if Tyrant would who would have won this this fight. Cause uh according to the I'm done forget what the DVD's called, the Wesker's Wesker Wesker's report, I think, that that was only in Japan. I think I think it was only in Japan. But according to that is like you know when the tyrant stabs Wesker, you know like the some of that virus or whatever goes inside through uh in, you know in Wesker's bloodstream. So that's how Wesker becomes you know his his you know he gets his powers from I like that uh, that that whole cutscene though with him and Wesker, and it's funny because I have the Code Veronica costume on, and that's how they do in Code Veronica X at the end. They're sitting there fighting each other. So that was that was neat. I, I really like that that cutscene. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. None of these have woken up. take care of them. What? Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay.
see the rank. There is no rank. <laughs> Chris, you did a fine job. Alrighty. <laughs>